literally the game that started it all, but with a huge twist. Uh, today we're playing Civilization V, but you'll notice here on my game setup screen, it's not the standard game setup screen, but rather the modding one, uh, as noted by modding game setup up the top there. Let me... there you go. Uh, so today I'm playing with a couple of mods. They are in the description linked uh, to the Symphonetics forums if you'd like to play them yourselves. One of them will enhance the game, the user interface visually for us to hopefully make it a little bit easier, less clicks, a little more modern perhaps. And then the main mod is the Vox Populi or the community patch which allegedly changes everything but the two that I'm most looking forward to sort of experiencing are probably the AI. Uh, I'm told it's some of the best AI out there. It's apparently very good at hunting down players who are getting close to certain victory conditions and trying to play around them and uh, apparently much better in combat as well. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, and more broadly, apparently the rest of the game has been rebalanced to the point where the civs that we normally expect to be kind of garbage are apparently a little bit better. Uh, if I jump into the menu, you might notice things look a little extra, right? A little... <laughs> <laughs> They've been sort of modernized and brought forward into 2023. Um, and thanks so much for tuning in if you're here live as well. Bruno, Pete, Alexia, I see you. We're talking about who I should play. Stephen thinks Morocco, Brazil, England, England, the Celts. Okay. Yep. Modded, modded Civ. The first time actually as well that I'm playing it, despite... Goodness knows, Gareth, <laughs> I've also probably spent a year of my life in this game. Maybe actually not quite that much, but um, but I spent an incredible amount of time in Civ 5, yet somehow never really played the modded one. So, um, okay, so let's have a look. A couple of shortlisted options. I don't know where they stand in terms of power rankings in this mod pack, because, as I say, everything's kind of been turned on its head. The culture trees, the tech tree uh, looks super fascinating. Lots of calls for England, Byzantium. Brazil. Well, here's our Brazil. We know what Brazil kind of do. Uh, long Golden Ages tourism. Eh. Babylon, receive a free great scientist when you discover writing. Great scientists produce 50% faster than normal and invest in gold. In buildings, reduces their production cost by an additional 15%. So cheaper buyouts. Um, and then we have... Is it the most OP in the Vox Populi patch still? I know it's the most OP in the game. Or at least right up there in the S tier. Uh, with our friends, where are they? Oh my, there are so many civs in this game. I forgot just how many. <laughs> yep. Look, they just keep coming. That is fantastic. There's Venice, personal favorite. Not a lot of votes for Venice in the chat, and that's probably fair enough. Uh, if you're tuning in live, we're just sort of t creeping up towards triple digits. Our likes are at 22. If you wouldn't mind liking the video, sorry to ask. I know it's incredibly painful to listen to trust me it's even more painful to say out loud okay so just <laughs> we both suffer okay uh back to the selection screen india sweden poland i should probably have a look at england who i'm assuming is elizabeth the first if my memory doesn't fail me though it has been a hot minute korea of course traditionally a great civ uh if we weren't playing the community patch Oh yeah, here we go. Elizabeth the First. Plus one movement for naval and embark units. I do love the ships in this game. I am a sucker for a boaty game more broadly as well. <laughs> uh, minus 25% gold cost. Spy resistance. Yeah, spies. Yeah. I was never so hot on spies. But quite a few votes for it in chat. So maybe we play an Elizabethan campaign. Uh, could you also let me know, can you hear the music levels? Are they alright relative to my voice? I hope I haven't sort of silenced them a bit too much. They look alright on my end. A naval game would be fun. Denmark, Tundra heavy map. Okay. I think we've I think we're narrowing it down. I've ruled out Babylon, played them to death normally. England could definitely be fun. Uh, I'll chuck them on the shortlist. Venice is the old favourite. <laughs> The music is good. Thank you, Pete. Sound balance seems good. Thank you, Alexia. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Um, Byzantium. I'm going to rule them out just because played them to death normally. Oh, 
diminishing production towards wonders. It's kind of tempting. It is kind of tempting. Ship of the oh, I like this interface. This is nice. Look at this. You've got the upgrade costs. Becomes obsolete with. Requires. That's neat. The White Tower. Free the Crown Jewels. Minus two iron. Okay. And something about ceremony, which I'm... Guess, is, it, is that the happiness replacement in this mod? Boy, we've got a lot to learn. Maybe I should jump in with a familiar face. Yeah. Indonesia. There's an outside choice that is quite fun. One of three unique luxuries appears nearby when we found a city, plus 5% yield. Yeah, kind of fun. Kind of fun. Uh, what do we have? Plus 25% great people. Culture, faith, and a load of different awards. Uh, rewards? No. <laughs> Yields? Uh, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> it's going to be a long stream. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I will pick quickly. Hmm. Chat GPT-4 just got released? Yeah, you're actually... I'm not even real. This is just... You're just watching Chat GPT communicate with chat uh, live to try and figure out what, what buttons to press in a game. Whew. Okay, now that that stringception's out the way, the Irish in me really wants the Celts. Hey, little lucky. How you doing? Your name sticks out. Look at that orange icon. Thank you. Um, where did I, where did I see the Celts? We could always just go random and just leave it up, leave it up to chance. Honestly, given that the whole thing's been rebalanced, it, that might not be a terrible idea. And then I just re-roll if I had it. Uh, maybe defeating the purpose. I don't want to play a city-state heavy one if I'm honest. So anybody who's particularly city statey is ruled out. Uh, traditionally, of course, you know, kind of favorable against the AI. Although I'm told in this mod, the AI will really sort of play around that, uh, which makes me even less keen to play, <laughs> to play those. If you see anything you like, just sing out. Aha, the Celts. Oh, the super religious. I'm not keen on a religious game. Random. Box populators, indeed. The community patch. Random might be fun. Reroll. Yeah, alright. Okay. <laughs> We're indecisive. Thank you for doubling the likes while we sat around and waited. Let's have a random roll. And if it's not one that we've talked about in the chat, we'll roll again. So consider your votes uh, locked in. Uh, now, map type. Wow, we. We've got a lot. Uh, explorers, scrambled continents, scrambled nations. I guess just randomize that too. Why not? Uh, I think a small game is nice, manageable. I think six players, this, they call it small for me, that's huge. Difficulty, I'm not going to turn this up very high. Uh, because apparently the difficulty in this mod pack is much better than normal. I'm tempted to play honestly on just normal. Uh, pr I could, we could probably go Prince though. I'm a little rusty, but we could probably go Prince. Or just normal. We'll see. Uh, and then game speed, I'm thinking definitely quick. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, at this rate, this is not going to be a 24-hour live stream. You know what I mean? It could be, but I, I don't think it is. It <laughs> okay. Let's just roll a game, see what happens. Okay, good news is Blessing the mod is working. That's actually a relief for me. I spent a long time last <laughs> night <laughs> trying to figure out how to get this thing to run properly <laughs> against uh, the other mods that I'll be playing. Okay, so we've rolled hilariously Dido of the Carthaginian Empire. Now, this is funny because Dido, traditionally, terrible civ. Terrible. Trash. I remember making the uh, my guide video about Dido. And I, I think on the thumbnail or something, it says something like, Dido? Question mark? D don't. Uh, which is, of course, a play on words on her name. Dido. Dido? <laughs> Dido? <laughs> she doesn't know. She died a long time ago. <laughs> oh, sorry. Anyway. Um, yeah, because she's terrible. 
Uh, it's the Phoenicians, of course. Plus 125 gold when founding cities, scaling with each era. Owned coastal cities receive a free lighthouse. Okay, so kind of maybe leading into our Bodhi game. Uh, trade route resource diversity modifier is doubled. We have the Great Cathon and a Quadra Regra Rima Rima Rimi. Uh, let it ride? We think in let it ride? I think that's a re-roll. People are saying let it ride, it's a re-roll. <laughs> what are we thinking? There is actually nearly 100 of you watching on YouTube alone. Plus five people on Twitch. Hey, Karzel, nice to see you. Um, which puts us over 100. The Visivisiv Revolution, the OG. I see you. Okay, let's let's quickly put it to a lightning pole then. How about that? A lightning pole. Um, keep or go. And you'll just vote for keep or go. <laughs> it's that simple. If you vote for go, we re-roll. If you vote for keep, we keep her. Um, I, I'll have a look at the start while you vote. Let it re-roll. Let's have a look. See what kind of start we got. This is the new interface, by the way. Looking kind of classy. Not gonna lie. Looking kind of classy. Uh, we do this not... We do not need these people telling us how to play. Well, actually, we might. <laughs> we actually might. Uh, oh, This is nice. Okay. Uh, let's get our resource icons on, because... <laughs> gonna be useless without those uh, a hex grid seems good yield icons for the time being yes okay so this is a nice sort of productive start we've got a sea resource over there coastal city starting with a scout and a warrior this is nice I'm 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 kind of happy with this uh, Dito would also be a pretty funny one to try <laughs> unless I get slaughtered in the beginning um, you know, and if this stream is popular, don't fear, because we can come back and do more of this. Uh, if you'd like to see it, I'm happy to play it. I love Civ 5. Civ 5 is fantastic. You can buy most buildings with 125 gold on the first turn. Alright, let's take a look. I feel like this is a reasonable start. Um, although a case could be made that moving there is better, because I get the two, um, the two productions straight away. But I don't think that matters. Ooh, okay. Move, do nothing, sleep, found city. Ooh, this is also different. Nice. I'm gonna shut these people up. I think there might actually be an option to just shut them up completely in this mob pack as well. So we might come back to that. Um, so, blue tiles are owned but not worked. Green tiles are owned and worked. And these tiles, I'm guessing, are the ones that the city's going to expand to. Um, and for some reason it's highlighting two tiles. Maybe I'm getting two. I don't know. Uh, the user interface is quite small. Up left to the hill. Yeah, that wouldn't have been bad, actually. Um, but it looks nice. Okay, you're right. So, I've only got 93 gold. Didn't get my 125 from founding my first city, but I won't hold that against them. Could buy the monument or the shrine outright. Not terrible. Or a unit. But we don't have our settlers unlocked straight away because I think in this mod pack they're a little bit different. Uh, I don't want to hear from you. Thank you. Hmm. I don't think I want faith straight away. I actually think I want to. Would probably have preferred to have bought this. So I'm going to cancel that. Buy the monument with my 60 bucks. Fantastic. Get start working on a shrine. We already have two units, which I feel like is kind of enough for a bit of early explore. Hello, early exploration. <laughs> At the moment, I still have uh, unit move animations on. I haven't played Civ with unit move animations on in forever. They actually look surprisingly decent for a 12-year-old game. change the resolution for a larger UI. It might be easier to see for you as well. What do we think? Shall I change the resolution? I don't mind. It'll only take a minute. Um, we could put it down to 1080p and that would give me a larger UI. It might be a little bit hard for you to see. I'm conscious. But then maybe you don't want to see the UI. Excuse I don't mind either way. It's actually not, it's not terrible for me. 
Um, but let me know, because that's an easy fix. So here you can see that Settler is actually... Whoa, we've revealed rice on the map. So Settler's buried here. So if we want to go for a quick expand, and also revealing fish on the map and farming, we probably want pottery. Uh, early science plays. I see education, drama, and poetry. Military stuff looks to be along the bottom, but also some industry. And then a concentration through the middle. There's a kuna. I feel like that could be reasonable. There's philosophy. Okay. So I do kind of want to just probably get pottery, I think. Excuse me. It's already blurry. <laughs> For maybe. <laughs> Buying builds half the construction. Oh, I've been duped. Excuse You're right. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. So we're still actually six turns away from that monument. Okay. So I'll need to do the same for the next building then. Uh, yes, thank you. I found some ancient ruins. <laughs> She's like, you should really go and have a look at those. I'm going to. Ah. Uh, crudely drawn map <laughs> lame uh looks like we found our first city state neat city state i believe these have changed quite a bit here as well oh yeah look at that a grand duke the grand duke of vilnius that's awesome diplomatic missions pledge to protect they have jade and porcelain whole load of different traits Zero gold for 14 influence? Hmm. Or zero gold for zero influence, I mean? This is a tricky deal. I will think about it. All districts are in the palace like Civ 5. I agree, that would be fun. Okay. Um, and thank you, by the way, for 50 freaking thousand subscribers. We did it. We're <laughs> I can't believe it. Which is, of course, the purpose of the stream. The final stream in the sort of uh, road to 50k. Although this one, of course, slightly late. Uh, because those last thousand really came through. Egypt to the north? Oh, you're right. Hey, look at this. That's kind of fun. Uh, Alright, let's, uh, let's trail up this way. Go and have a look. See what they've got to offer. Vilnius kind of want to see what you've got too so i'm just going to trespass for a second don't mind me uh unit promotion combat strength outside of friendly territory and double the movement speed in forests and jungles looks like a really great deal uh again how many promotions can one have combat strength while defending visibility range yeah go on you're just the best pathfinder in the world uh 100 happiness. I th no. Three? Surely not 100. What is this? 100? <laughs> happiness total is eight. We'll investigate this further. I feel that there could be... A, a, they called it something else, like celebrations or something. I don't know what that three means, though. Resources not yet discovered. One... Resources available. Scouts game improvements. Where you said that crude map was a big XP bump. That is fantastic. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, well, they're going to get those jade. So that there's probably not a reasonable settle there. Uh, this would be a Ford settle like this. No tomorrow. Hello. <laughs> Uh, denounce friendship don't settle near us yeah technologies world map embassy if we could we would but i don't think we can write yet so we're just going to sort of grunt and wave goodbye <laughs> and use our superior visibility to see if we can get some more of those discoveries because they are worth a lot of promotions maybe lesser now I like this. This is a neat touch. Of course, if I had the yield icons off. City construction complete. Great. Um, I think I want to ditch the shrine. And then... Because we still have quite a bit of cash. 
pump money into the shrine and now finish its completion. Four turns. All right. Uh, I feel like... <sighs> I feel like I would rather work industry. What is it working at the moment? Default focus. Food focus. Production focus. Unchangeable. Two food. Yeah. So, I mean, we get another citizen in three turns. I think we'll just focus a little bit on early growth, just for a couple more turns. Hard to say what is actually the better call. <laughs> Ooh. Double. Trouble. That is troublesome. <laughs> Maybe an error. Perhaps if I turn normal resource icons off. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Um, I could also have the yield icons off, but I think I'll leave them on for the start. Just so it's a little bit easier to scout out what we're actually doing. Uh, let's get the warrior around this way so they can try and hopefully scout something out for us. It's not an insta-build, no. It seems to half-complete a production with that sweet, sweet cash money. Jump in. Okay, we found some production. And that pumped it into the city, maybe completing our shrine. This is a fairly decent start. Lots of different advisors and narrators talking at me at once, but that's alright. Uh, so potteries unlock the settler, granary, farming, fishing. Seem like fairly important things. We're going to dismiss the fact that we have faith for the time being. Um, and just keep running. Here's Mombasa, who have... What the? Coral? Yeah. They're a little hostile. <laughs> we'll stay away from them for the time being. Uh, okay, Shrine Insta done. We have a farming project which can convert food into production. Obviously not really what I'm interested in right now. We probably want an extra unit. We've done a lot of city building quite early on. Um, settler 10 turns. We need four citizens to be able to do that though. A worker could be useful. We are probably still 10 turns away from any kind of reasonable upgrade though. You do have to get it from their website. Uh, I've linked it in the description where I got it from. There's an auto installer on the Civ Fanatics forums, um, which was very good and worked seamlessly once I figured out which mods I needed to have on and off and which version of DirectX to run the game and that kind of stuff. Um, but the install itself, fantastic. Um, back to the city production. We also have a slinger, which is kind of fun. Uh, we could get one of them for a little bit of early combat strength. And we probably will need something to defend the city. So I'm going to get a slinger. Let's give it a go. Uh, next production, uh, next technology rather. Fishing boats, out to sea. Get our sea resources online. We are a seafaring nation. However, I feel like uh, another one of these land-based ones is probably a good shout. Mining for the wells. Animal pastures to military strategy. Not bad. Um, we're going to need all of them eventually. We could go in an interesting early faith build too. Here's a council, which provides some early science. Let's get that. Let's get the wheel. That tile providing three food should really be worked. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, we're still a little bit away from it. Maybe the three production now. Yeah. Let's share the love. We do need populations to grow. Here's something to explore. And here's Brazil. Hey, Richard. Nice to see you. Four food fish is looking quite nice. It is looking very nice, isn't it? We need to bounce back for that tech. Uh, Pedro, we can't really do much with you at the moment. Let's. I thought that was goodbye. <laughs> I'm drawn to the right hand option. But goodbyes in the middle. We'll just say our goodbyes and keep walking because we found more. And we have an event, by the way. 
another thing modded into the game. Fantastic. Let's explore. Uh, a comet's appeared in our night sky. Some believe it to be a miracle. Others an ill omen. Your advisors are unsure and look to you for guidance. What does it mean? Uh, if it's a good omen, we get 75 golden age points. Okay. Or, plus one happiness in all cities for 20 turns. I feel like we don't really need that. So, I guess I get the good omen. I'm not sure if that was very good. It still says start a golden age two turns. I'm not sure if that's the duration of the golden age or how long it's going to take me. Although we did just make quite a bit of progress. I need to see how much we get per turn. I guess it's only eight. So actually, that's fairly decent. I'm happy with that. Now you. Go and find me a city location. Looks like we're going to be copper queens of Carthage here. We need to get that tile online. Get that tile online. Get a worker, probably, after we get that slinger. By then we'll be able to build a settler. It's a little bit slow. Oh, there's a four food. It's a little bit slow of an expand, but we'll get there. Uh, here's another ruins. Another goody hut. Go. Go, you beautiful. You Ranged have. unit. Thank you. Well understood. Um, it's just a slinger, but a little bit of fun. I think we can ignore the city-state and step out this way with it. I can't get over how nice those animations look. That's awesome. Oh my god. We love our minds. Yes. The VP. Hello, Angel. Goodbye, the tile. You're right, I am ludicrously wealthy. 51 gold. How many turns away are we, though? Six turns to border growth. Uh, we're six turns from the tech anyway, right? And we'll need a workboat, too. Border growth points, plus two. Interesting. Plus one production from camps. Five food in the city when its borders expand, scaling with error. Plus two border growth. That's quite cool. 15% of food's carried over when a new citizen. So that's like the hospital effect, but really early on out of the granary. Whoa. I think I'll get one of those. I don't have enough gold to buy it. Nine gold? I don't quite understand that. Um, that lodge interests me quite a bit. I won't be able to get there with a work boat. <gasps> No. Okay, so it has to be this tile, and I'm going to have to buy it in that case. You're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Lucky I have my advisors on board. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> well pointed out. Well pointed out. Um, in that case, let's get the everlasting effect of a granary. And jump to the next turn. We're going to go for fast growth as, well, as much as we can early on with the start anyway. Um, cultural artifact. 10 culture. Okay. Natural wonders. These are traditionally quite hard to find. What have we got? The fountain of youth. Okay. Um... Can I? Yes. Plus two science from this natural wonder for every era after the ancient era. All melee recon mounted melee gunpowder armor produced by the owner gain everlasting youth promotion, allowing them to heal for much higher amounts than normal. Okay. Combat modifier plus 10%. I, I like this. We're going to get the fountain of youth, baby. We're going to live for <laughs> oh hey Huck Speaking of living forever The man, the myth, the legend Okay That's a new mission uh, ooh. And I see an enemy border I see a goody hut in between We've got our trailblazing scout Which really is the best of the best It's going to sweep back this way I'm going to try and secure the fountain of youth um, Probably a settle there And then a settle on the fountain All along the coast Hopefully Let's have a look the big reveal. Yeah, okay, great. We can get coastal cities all the way down. There's another goody hut. It's another crudely drawn map. Can this unit get any more promoted? <laughs> Plus 
Plus 25% yields from ancient ruins. Oh, this guy's insane. Got to go back to work. I'll try to be back. Don't forget to leave a like. <laughs> oh, thank you for gracing us with your presence. And thanks for your huge contribution to the channel to get it here to 50,000 subscribers. If you're not back, you're very much appreciated. Um, oh, we get to adopt a policy. The new policy trees, uh, which have, of course, been sort of rebalanced. Fealty, statecraft, obviously rationalism, the big bad boy. Um, 20 science when a citizen's born in your capital. 15 science for every citizen already in your capital. Culture, technology. And then on tradition, we get plus two food, population, and happiness in the capital. Plus one culture for every two citizens. And unlocking the whole thing gets plus 3% growth. Interesting. Coastal cities get a free lighthouse. Yes. It's a simple installer. It is. The auto installer. Maybe authority. And then authority gives us combat bonus versus barbarians. 25 culture when clearing their camp crack a cold one i feel like progress looks pretty decent no look at all that science twenty science when a citizen is born fifteen science for every citizen already in fifteen culture when a technology is researched yeah i like that a lot wisdom and virtue we're going progress. Formerly Liberty. Humankind 5. That's right. <laughs> I'm too chilled to go authority. <laughs> if you're playing wide, progress is good. Traditionally, the wide, of course. Should we get fishing for these fishing boats? I think so. We're going to beeline fishing boats. We are a coastal people. We love the sea. Uh, as I move inland, just to make sure there's no secret ocean here. There isn't, though there's probably one tile of water. Um, probably not going to cut it. Let's move up on uh, toward the Fountain of Youth. Make sure that we stay forever young! Oh. Okay. Maybe a chance for a little military incursion. We're going to send out our mighty um, scout. Uh, oh look, more promotions, fantastic. Combat strength while defending, combat strength outside of friendly territory. Let's get that. Um, more visibility, I just want to see everything with this walking turret. <laughs> and then run to that as animation. well. Granting you land. A nomadic tribe wishes to join your city. Great, look at us go. We are huge. Look at all this food. <laughs> These are some great tiles. That is awesome. Oh, I don't know what to work. I guess we just go hard on the food. Om nom 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 nom. Although this turn doesn't really matter. So actually, let's get some industry. Um, okay, that's awesome. Carthage is going places now. <laughs> <laughs> Survivalism eventually leads to auto-heal. I would love an auto-heal. Just for general forgetfulness, I think an auto-heal would be useful. Um, it's time for us to adopt yet another policy. We could, of course, get both. But, plus one movement for civilian units, settlers, workers. Trade routes are granted 25% more quickly. And plus three production. That's actually pretty good considering I haven't really built any civilians yet. Uh, a worker whoa, a worker appears on the capital. Plus three gold in every city. Improvement rate increased by 25%. Oh, why do you make me choose? Uh, what's more important first? To have the worker or to build more quickly in future? Um, I'm going to take the three production. I don't know if that was the right call. <laughs> I don't know. We're nearly finished this granary. Uh, let's have a look. So there's a couple of new buildings here. The council and the lodge. Settler, now only five turns away too. Uh, that's probably a better idea than getting these. Yes. Although, worth noting, a little bit of science out of this. Uh, and out of the lodge, 
some more border growth. Although our borders are already looking pretty spicy, so I think we can ignore that for the time being. Um, probably I want to settler up after we finish that. Five turns until we grow. Yeah. I'll queue up a settler. And then we might switch to full production. Let's explore this coastline a little bit more. Uh, we need to get this unit away and safe because it's our very precious boy. <laughs> so we can get you out of there. Uh, for a little bit of a, a bit of a tassel, huh? We'll ignore. Uh, we could forward settle Thebes as well. Because this is going to be kind of tense. Let's have a look. Slinger, unable to fire. It'll have to step right up next to it. That feels like a bad move. We're going to skirt around. I've been here before. <laughs> Let's keep scouting. It's what we do best. The warrior can handle this from here. Yep, okay. Okay. Need to step up onto high ground, I think. Uh, the most advanced people in history. It's me. Lots of people are talking to me, but there's... Uh, fishing has been unlocked in a variety of boats and embarkment too, which is great. Whew, what is next? Maybe animal husbandry for the land reveal. Alternatively, we need to get our copper mines online. Let's get mining. Uh, let's get mining! <laughs> okay, great. And scouting as well. Hello, Babylon. Baby Long. Mombasa. Reward a player who destroys a military camp. They'll give you great general points out of that now, too. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's a bit of culture and food popping out of here. The city, of course, can't grow. Uh, so maybe unlock these tiles. And... Oh, please. Manage yourselves. Uh, put them onto a production focus, I guess. It literally makes no difference now. So, default focus it is. <laughs> We're four turns away from producing a settler. We'll need to give it a clear line away from the city uh, with these units. That's a yikes. It's like they know. How did they know? 13 experience. I'm not sure if that was worth stepping into harm's way for. Let's keep exploring. A little bit concerned about what this guy's looking at. Yeah, you keep walking, chump. <laughs> uh, okay, and there's barbarian warfare going on over this way. 47 damage to warrior for 21. You're lucky I have to go. Or, oh my god, there's more. I should maybe not crap talk them just yet. <laughs> uh, a promotion, though. Combat strength... Flanking bonus, combat strength when attacking cities. I mean... They're very different. Um, and a scout is going to sneak along here and get a wonderful look at the city of Babylon, where tobacco is aplenty. And also some whales. A nice looking city. A settler spree. Yeah, we're going to need to start pumping out dudes. Um, alright, fall back to there. This coastline is scary. Uh, let's get the visibility train connected up. Let's meander across them hills. Holy cow. Another wonder. Uh, and you need to get out of here. Do we have some kind of defense? Defending against ranged attacks. <laughs> Not altogether very useful, but alright. We'll start promoting you. You're going to be a great soldier one day. Hey, look, there's a scout for you to fight instead. Ha! You fool. <laughs> oh my god, an axe to the face as well. Oh, it's a barbarian encirclement going on. Get me out of here. <laughs> going to help their other scout, the fools. You can... uh, right, time to found a city. We could found one down here very safely. Uh, we could forward settle Thebes and grab that coastline. Not entirely sure that's a good idea. But it might be. Um, 
Go for Petra by settling the desert on the Fountain of Youth. Hmm. Fort Canal? Oh, so I could fort there or something, or there. Is that the idea? Worth a go. Uh, we're moving this way, I think. Oh, we could embark. It's a little crazy. <laughs> Let's not do that. We've got clear line of sight. We'll settle along that coastline. Oh, hello. I mean, it's quite far away, but it's there. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I guess we could just... It is going to be quite deserty. Yeah. It's, it's going to be quite the desert. Uh, do we want to go for another settler? Apparently we can't. We're about to grow though. So anything that I do get will need to be kind of quick. A work boat, perhaps. Yeah. We're boat people. Give me a work boat. I work boats allow you to improve fish and whale resources. Use. Not a great system. I, I, one of the things that Civ 5, I think doesn't do oh i mean I, I, you know it's unique i guess you have to build a boat to take it out onto the sea it's just kind of easier to use a normal worker though isn't it um either way let's improve these tiles that is fantastic and we're pumping out another one while we're at it <laughs> we're going to improve both of these because they're so great um, next technology on the chopping block could be animal husbandry. It might affect my settling location. Though, will I get it in time? Eh, I probably will. Let's do it. Yeah, we're getting two units. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Get me out of here. Jeez. Step to the high ground. Ready on the defense. Guard your settler. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> what do I look like? Some kind of paranoid guy? Jeez. Come on. How much happiness do I have? Ten. The 100 is a percentage of happiness. And this is Vox Populi. A great answer. And they don't get used up in VI. They're gonna be... We're gonna have a lot of boats. A golden age has dawned. Fantastic. Sail over here. Um... Okay, so we want to make sure that we end up with the Fountain of Youth, obviously, which which probably leads to us having a city in this little alcove uh, bay, and then maybe a city in this bay. I was hoping there'd be a resource there, but I mean, this settle looks really nice. This one looks fine. Th these all look fine. I think we'll go nice and close to home. Grab a settle there. One, two, three, one, two. It's not quite at full extent, though. Um, we probably want to leave the max three between them, especially along the coast. So actually, I might go a little further just to give us space to grow. This is terrible. We have a unit. We do have a unit. Getting to the high ground, maybe moving behind this unit zone of control is actually the best move just to absolutely assuredly get to safety time for another settler <laughs> yeah it looks like they do disappear completely this icon threw me a little bit city states and we get to choose our pantheon oh this is gonna i'm gonna need some advice on this one please <laughs> and welcome if you're just tuning in we're playing vox populi the community patch for civilization 5 
uh, which is a huge mod pack, all encompassing. And I've also got the enhanced UI mod on, uh, which was a separate manual install, uh, which is changing the, the look of the game a little bit. And I like it. Seems decent. We've got our tourism up the top here, trade routes, all of our normal yields over here. This is a percentage of happiness, not the actual happiness number. Um, and we've found Mogadishu, who want zero gold for zero influence. That's a deal I, I cannot accept. I just can't. Um, another fishing boat. These tiles are looking really juicy. 513, 513. Yike. And now we get a Pantheon. The question is, do we want a Pantheon around copper? Which we have a lot of, right? Or the sea, which we also have a lot of. Ah, uh, let's have a look, see. Faith for citizens, no. Faith in culture from mines on improved resources. Plus one faith and production from monuments. Okay, so that Earth Mother would be decent. No. Golden City, City Connections. It couldn't, might not be terrible with a load of harbors. Um, quarries and stoneworks, no. Border growth, no. Plains, see you later. Plus one faith and production from fishing boats and atolls. Plus two food and plus one faith in coastal cities. God of the sea. That's definitely another shortlist. Yeah. No sun, no war, no. God king. Pff, see you later. Goddess of beauty, doesn't sound like me. Festivals, no. Nature, goodbye. Protection, no thank you. Purity from lakes and marshes. Oh, that's fun. Um, jungle and forest. I mean, there's a bit of that, but no. Hunt, no. Desert. We get plus one faith production and gold from desert tiles with resources. And plus three food from oases. Now, this this could be useful here. You can see a few desert tiles. It would make them decent, but I don't think that's worthwhile. I think for me, it has emerged that there are really only two choices. The first one is Earth Mother which will give me faith and culture on mines, um, plus one of each, and also faith and production in monuments. So just, so basically plus one, plus one faith and production to the city. Um, we will have a lot of mines. The second one, and I think probably what is emerging is the winner, right? Coastal bias, coastal cities. Looks like Swarm, Richard, Alexia. We're kind of agreeing. Probably God of the Sea. Plus one faith and production from fishing boats and atolls. And plus two food and one faith in coastal cities. I also benefit from, of course, generating populations quite a bit. It's helping our science and all sorts of stuff. So, yep, yeah, we're going to be the god of the sea. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> Those early yields. Oh, Carthage. You're too good. You're too good. Okay. Now we need to work on keeping this religion. Uh, a little worried about this settler. Now the settler, I, want, I decided that I wanted to, <laughs> rap god, wanted to leave a little bit of extra space for Carthage to grow. So Carthage needs one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, it, it kind of wants to be here, actually. This is ideal for future growth and i'm just going to play around future growth i think and smash it down there it could almost grab the fountain itself which means we can move a little bit further around this coast maybe uh and ford settle rio like there's no tomorrow hello that's a neat resource um yep okay we've also got them protected now which is nice a rogue ai scout won't snipe it oh i heard a boom boom what is that icon? That is a mystery. I do not know. And I don't want to know. Okay. Uh, it's settling time. And shall we get monument for fast growth, council for the science. Probably want a building. Uh, although we know how good our ghost tiles can be. So getting a workboat fairly quickly will be a good idea as well. I think I'll start with the basics, though. Let's get a uh, half-paid-for monument online. 
Oh, early work boat. Can I buy the tile? Where's my buy tile interface? Unsure. Nope, it's a mystery. All right. Uh, this guy, you can just fortify until healed because you are well and truly nearly go a goner. <laughs> and we found Sydney in Mogadishu. Great. Wonder how the naval AI is in this mod? We're going to find out. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> well, I hope so anyway. Uh, we've got another event. An event in Carthage. Nomadic incursion. A group of nomadic peoples have appeared at my borders and petitioned for the right to settle in your territory. At your borders, rather. Uh, they seem friendly and are willing to negotiate in order to gain what they desire. How do we respond? We could give them land, but only if they adopt our culture. Extra border growth. Invite them to settle. But only if their finest soldiers join our army so we can get a free unit or a free population. Um, I'm going to get a free unit. Because that's really fun. What did we get? A warrior. Really? That was your finest dude? A warrior? Not even unlocked a, a spear yet? I should have got the population. City screen. Hello, city. Unsure. Uh, all right. Carthage has got another settler. I think we just pump them along this coastline. Yeah. Well, out to sea. A little bit risky. We'll send a warrior with you. Just in case the sea AI is rather clever. Clever. Um, do we want to pump out city number four out of Carthage as well before we go for our next expansion phase? Or do we want to quickly get one of these? Plus one science. Uh, border growth. Bison deer. Plus two production. Well. Tempting. Alright, while we're waiting, let's get a quick well. And a quick council. Nice. Cheeky upgrades for Carthage, just to make sure it doesn't fall behind its peers. We can't have any of that. Where is Devilish? I was wondering that too. Uh, animal husbandry, chariot archer, horses, cattle, sheep, and construct a pasture. Oh, these tiles. We need to get that improved. How can I get a fishing boat around there I'd have to settle over that side or I guess just sail it around it would be possible it's it's probably all coastal sure we're, we're gonna try just because that tile looks so good okay uh settler where you headed not there all right we're just gonna stay in the seas we're Carthaginians after all it's what we do best uh, time for another technology. Do we want to go through to sailing? Great lighthouse. Normal lighthouse. Which, of course, we get free in our cities. So maybe we do beeline that. Yeah. That's pretty important to us. Let's grab it. Because I think that will also provide city connections in all of our cities. Because we're going to make them all coastal. So they'll instantly be extra connected. They'll be able to trade. We won't even need roads. Roads will be a detriment to our people. <laughs> can you build a channel ah yes we talked about maybe having the option of building a fort wasn't it um i don't have a worker it's very close to getting that this turn but no cigar i do need a worker quite badly as well I'm just going to get both for the time being. This new city. Uh, See, again, I feel like I should... We need to have enough gold. This will purchase one of the highlighted tiles. Here it is. Here it is. It's this button. So I could buy that for 30 gold. Okay. Whoop. 
that's quite nice um in that case let's get a work boat because we're going to get that tile online because it's going to be freaking fantastic uh plus 15 percent production towards buildings cities earn plus 10 culture when they construct buildings scaling with error or we could get our free worker on the capital and plus three gold in every city yeah that's great we're about to head into a worker era amazing okay uh what do you want to do first he's like oh i've got so many things i want to do <laughs> uh so we can get a road route to at the moment i can't try the fort yet rats okay go build mines and we'll sail around that way let's send the slinger out for a little bit of a look-see okay couple of Egyptian scouts but otherwise probably nothing to worry about we need military no to defend we have no military territory. units defending our territory come on that's not true this guy is just ridiculing me ah kia ora, octopus I'm glad to see you thanks so much we need construction for a fort that does make sense that does make sense uh, if you're just tuning in and wondering, we're playing the Community Patch, Vox Populi mod, and the Enhanced User Interface mod for Civilization V, uh, the grandest of all Civ games. Uh, speaking of which, actually, let me end that poll and get us back to the poll at hand. And the two leading options in the last one that I was running overnight before the stream was Civ V and Civ VI. So I'm going to put them as the two. There we go. Uh, now, back to the task at hand. Um, I mean, that, that, that does look like quite a lot of military, but I'm sure they're merely passing by. Yeah, look, everything's fine. Um, I wonder if there's... Oh, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> I thought there might have been opportunity to go across to some island or something. I can't resist uh let's upgrade this mine because this is our chief production tile at the moment uh, and it's a really fantastic one too continue to explore all of the coastlines egyptians are settling north probably for the best we could maybe squeeze another city in there here's another boat it's going to be a long journey go you brave boy eight turns but it is all coastal water so it should make it providing there are no barbarians uh in this mist which you know there could be a little bit of a risk you might say to send a lone fishing boat uh but we don't have any well i could build a quadrine i'm not going to though no uh i think we need another settler let's get another settler that will give us four, which is potentially sort of on the slightly lower end, but at the reasonable end of cities for this game, I think. I think four's good. We could hold at four. Let's keep exploring with our chief cannon scout. Okay. Another player. I wonder if we have anything we can actually trade at the moment. No. It just, it doesn't happen. Um... Luxury, strategic resources, technologies, world congress, world map. Capitulation. I demand you capitulate. What is that beautiful noise? Octopus, a mini pixel for 19 months. Remember to like everyone. 50 go go gay Olmecs. <laughs> Thank you so much. We are at 84 likes. I think we can get to triple digit likes. We can do it. There are 76 people watching on YouTube at the moment. And a couple on Twitch. Um, watch the happiness. It's down to 85 with that last settle. Fountain Youth will give us a bump. Happiness is hard to control in VP. This is a good forward warning. When does the expansion for Civ 6 come out? Uh, very soon. Friday, I think. Right? The new leaders? I think it's Friday. Um, a new promotion. Plus one movement. 
combat strength while defending medic. Let's go extra movement. Okay, so you're right. We're down to 85% happiness. Um... We need to get that fountain locked down. We could buy out to it, or we could settle on it. This city is sort of within range, and so maybe it should be bought rather than settled again. Uh, we've got cash in the bag, so that's all good. Improving resources. Do we have any luxuries that have not yet been improved? Looks like we've just got productive ones. Uh, although the whales, actually, will be good as well. stomp around this way i don't like how everybody's just is this like the national scout meeting of 2200 bc the international scout meeting or something i've missed out please <laughs> please oh look at that it surged up to 90 thank you uh okay here's a fishing boat i'm gonna buy this tile first because it looks fantastic so we'll swap over to the tile buying interface slam out 30 bucks uh well you know we could actually work our way there too 14. You need 40 bucks to buy this land. No problemo. We're just going to buy that, and this will be the city that grabs that, freeing us up to settle even further along the coastline. Great. And then maybe I have one too, too many settlers for the time being, but we'll see. Holy cow. That's a lot of yield. <laughs> Neat. All right. Um, this city is about to get one coastal tile improved potentially we could grab a second one straight off the bat as well uh could need a worker could also do with maybe some faith out of here if i want to keep my god of the sea alive which i very much do although it seems odd to build the shrine so early yeah i, I, I can't really justify that before even having a council no, stuff it. I'm going to do it. We need God of the Sea. I think it's quite important to our game plan. Let's sail out here. Speaking of, smash that out. Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one I got. And she's four food, three production, one gold, one science, one faith. In Kliab. I don't know where the science came from. That's so good. We love the sea. We need to get those other fish online. Fishing boats give faith. Yes, that they do. More boats. More boats! You're right. More boats. See you later, shrine. You're out of here. And put slightly behind in the queue. Uh, we can get horses, which is, you know good for our strategic reserves <laughs> so let's snake the settler along i think we keep them at sea oh that's terrifying i think we keep them at sea may have just been a big mistake uh memphis is only two population a card settles on that fantastic looking wonder um we sort of need more coast maybe we can stretch two coastal cities out of this peninsula by settling sort of in this nook and then over here or something or we settle around rio or we capture one of them and don't settle the fourth we've we've got options we've got options um sort of explored all up there i'd love to see what's through that way so let me jump out to see just jump through that unit that's good our visibility is pretty poor while we're out at the ocean but <laughs> If we can get over to this peninsula, we might be able to find somewhere where we could uh, actually Ford settle out that way with Carthage. The most sophisticated culture, it is I. It is I. Keep up the good humankind videos. Come for great Civ 5 content. Stay for $2 super chat. <laughs> the northern settle next to the fish. Oh, oh. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. So there is potential for a grab there. It's pretty greedy. 
but the fish will be really good. Speaking of, how's this boat going? Very slowly. Ooh. There's a lot of potential. Okay. Um, let's bring the settler ashore. <laughs> ashore. Let me be assured. You really have to add Jumbo Pixel. Gotta change the title and category. Oh my goodness. I forgot to do that today. Oh, thank you, Dr. Dr. Kane. Dr. Train. My hero. Civilization. Come on, baby. Civilization 5. Five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's such a yikes. Civilized civilization. Civilized civilization six. Civilized civilization five. There we go. <laughs> but I can give, but I can give you a like here as well. Thank you, Perch. <laughs> oh, thank you. That that may that that may be a reason. Okay. Um. Alrighty. Back to the task at hand. We have our one warrior who's tasked with defending two cities. I've just realised we might bring them back to base. Uh, we have this warrior who's helping us forward settle. Where exactly do I want to settle on this peninsula, though? I think it makes sense to settle on... Oh. Assuming it doesn't run... Assuming it is connected. If I settle on this side, then I'm trapped here. If I settle on this side, then I could be trapped here, potentially. Um, if there's no canal out of there. So, I, I may want to have another city on this side. So that I can get boats out here, right? I did. I did, Richard. <laughs> uh, thanks for the follow over on Twitch. I see you. Seven minutes ago. I see you. Uh, amazing. See you later, Wastafel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, okay. Since there's tundra, it might just end here. That's what I'm thinking. It does look kind of desolate, doesn't it? If it's just going to end, I think I want to be on this side, ideally. Um, it's a little ugly. Because I kind of... Oh, dear. Oh, I've been left alone. I'm not sure how that's happened. <laughs> Panic settle? Hmm. Kind of want to be right where the camp is. I guess a little further north wouldn't hurt. I could go there. One, two, three. That's still within range of horses. Also, so is there. We get fish settling over this side, which is great. Uh, further away from the tundra is probably better. Oh my god, this pathfinder came to my rescue. They're shooting my settler. Insane. Insane. I think we want to be up this way. So, we're going to have to move in for an attack like this. And get the settler out of there. <laughs> and leave that scout to die. <laughs> Sorry, foreign scout. It's just good business. It is just good business. Um... Keep keep moving this work boat around this coastline. <laughs> you can do it, Aussie. And now we have this settler. Who? Hello, Uluru. Okay. We have a goal. We're gonna settle Uluru. 
<laughs> We're going to snake it right out from under Thieves' nose. Let's go. It's risky, but we kind of have an extra settler anyway. Uh, this seems like a great use of my time. Let's try and forward settle that. What to build in the capital now, and how's our happiness doing? How do I see the individual cities happiness yield it's not immediately obvious it's not like immediately jumping out at me i guess they don't have it in this and i'm being a fool um do 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 it's maybe just the overall and i'm misremembering okay so we have a lodge for a little bit of extra food and then we have a market for trade routes we don't actually have a lot of trade going at the moment let's get a caravan online because we can make a lot of good money out of trade usually uh this looks terrible really bad what is this place this is a whelp it's a yikes actually is what it is <laughs> let's just let's just focus over here and, and keep improving nice tiles for this city uh, probably another production one is decent but uh, we can just improve our way around it's fine it's fine uh, i'll construct a pasture there the little fishing boat that could oh those atolls are really nice for us as well um okay full visibility gained it looks nasty let's maintain alertness just keep watching another tile here so we want to go into the buy menu grab that one uh beautiful beautiful that we're improving that for a second there i panicked and thought that it wasn't the fountain of youth why do yeah no it's fine okay great <laughs> so now we have the fountain of youth which is wonderful um Let's bring the settler and the slinger into position. We'll settle it there, almost certainly. We'll just keep moving around just to keep them safe. Workboat's going to take a couple of turns, but then we're going to get an almighty tile. And at 99 likes, we are one like away. I'm going to really quickly go for a quick break, uh, and then we'll be back for some more Civ 5. Check out this Be Right Back screen. Oh my god, he did.
Alrighty. Civilization 5. Oh, can it be played on Mac? I believe it can. Yeah, I saw on the install instructions there were instructions for Mac and Linux. So, <laughs> friendly for all. Uh, back to the gameplay. Let's do this. What were we doing? We were just expanding out that city. Oh, we were ready to end our turn. I think the gold should go away. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, the, <laughs> the little boat that could has nearly made it. Uh, cheeky settler, gonna sail wide berth around Thebes. Uh, and our scout's getting a little surrounded. We're gonna fall back a bit. Uh, ran into the zone of control, but that's fine. We're just gonna slip past. Uh, and meet up with the settler. This is a little risky. This settler's in position, and I think actually in the perfect position. Oh, thank you, Richard. You know, it's good to be back. <laughs> I've got a drink in my hand. Feeling good. Um... Mortish, thank you for 10 months, a jumbo pixel. 10 months ago, the channel would have been at around 10k. Uh, sorry, 20, 22k subscribers, maybe 20k. Playing some Dune Spice Wars, it would have just been coming in out of early access, into early access. Thank you so much for your support. It means a lot, a lot. And thank you for supporting the channel. Um, so I settle here so that we can still get horses and fish. Boom. Cities, like military units, can defend against attack. Quick monument. Yes. Barbarian. We just settled right on those barbarians to the point where they're instantly besieging and bombarding us. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. It's actually probably going to be quite helpful. Fire off with a slinger. Might turn quick combat on soon, but while the battles are still quite short, I'm actually kind of enjoying watching them play out. I haven't watched them play out in such a long time. It's so cool. Um, oh, they've got quite the defense around <laughs> what I'm guessing is Uluru. Yep. The bison of Uluru are well defended. My one scout feeling not super well prepared. Let's go on the defensive for a turn. We can always run away if we need to. Uh, let's smash a fishing boat down on this tile, turning it into not quite as great as that one, because it doesn't have whales, but still a very good tile for this city. Uh, two sea resources... This one's going to have three. Uh, I want it. <laughs> it's looking good. Look who made a friend. Oh, wow. Thank you. Okay. Uh, over here, fishing boats. This is going to be a fantastic one as well. Yeah, jeez. Carthage doesn't know what to do with itself. <laughs> Came from humankind. Became a member back then. Yeah, well, of course, humankind will have will have far predated even that. We talk, we will be talking around the ten thousand subscribers uh, for humankind. It kind of went like there, there were sort of main games in each era that helped to catapult the channel up to milestones. Really, and humankind was around that ten to twenty five was was particularly important around that ten to twenty five. So that doesn't surprise me at all. Um, more of the OGist of the OG. I think we get a market. We're going to invest in that. That will halve its production. And then two more turns we'll have that done. Um, because we we probably want to do a bit of trading out of Carthage. Establish a trade route. Change the home city. At the moment we can just trade with our city-state mate down here. They currently want us to establish a trade route. Provide us with a bit of food in the capital. Alright. Let's do it. 
And then we should we should maybe think about doing some internal ones. Although, whoa, these cities are pretty good in their own right. Kick them out of town. See you later, chief. Uh, this peninsula will be mine. I'm just gonna buy those two tiles, <laughs> just to just to show them who's boss. Look, it's mine. It's all mine. And now we have access to the sea, which is very important because that's the Brazilian capital, right? So all of a sudden we're looking kind of scary. But also in a more vulnerable position, it's got to be said. <sighs> okay, where do we want to settle? Right up by Uluru. Maybe. Uh, I see fish, fish, fish. We need to get within three tiles of Uluru, and ideally within three tiles of some fish. One, two, three. Right, so that spot there is really good. One, two, three. That spot there is one, two, three. Not quite as good because we don't get those fish. One, two, three. Or those ones. I don't know what the thinking behind that is. I think it has to be there. Or there. Or over on this island. Or sort of up where they are is also alright. Settle on the wheat though, I think, is the place. Yeah, Alexi, I think that is the place. Oh, and we're over 100 likes, triple digits. Thank you so much. Civ 5 winning the vote at the moment. Okay. The warrior kind of has to stay put. Let's leave it there. Uh, I kind of feel like the slinger wants to as well now. We're in a less expansive and, and slightly more defensive mode. Let's heal. Uh, and just nuke him. Hey, Dio. <laughs> That's a good idea. I should just do that. There's a settler. I don't like that. It's a race. We want that spot. Do I just run and stand on it? Yeah. I'm just going to run and stand on it. Oh. Okay. We'll stay here for a turn. <laughs> Message area for AI, Pedro says. I wish I knew what he said. What did we just trade? That's a bit of a yikes. I'm not sure what's going on with this at all. I may have broken this. We'll just ignore that. Oh, look at that. Poor trap scout. Really getting bombarded. Bit of a yikes. Okay, they're on my wheat. What are the chances they just hop off there? They might step there to fight me and then I can step there and dupe them. Let's hope that that's going to happen. <laughs> hope is a viable strategy. Nothing wrong with a bit of hope. Oh, come on. Do that. Unbelievable. This place needs a worker. I guess we could take the one from the capital, who is seemingly just standing around doing nothing. Hello? I'm not paying you to do nothing. I'm not paying you at all. Uh, you can stay right there in that turn. Let's hope we get lucky. Did we get lucky? Yes. Oh my god. Everything went according to plan. <laughs> we'll just easily, uh, hopefully, oh, yeah, that's a yikes. That unit, really poorly positioned. Um, okay. Jump into the ocean. Jump into the ocean. 
Now we just have to hope that they stay off that tile for one more turn, and then everything will have worked brilliantly. Uh, let's get that mine down. Barbarians as far as the eye can see. I think we might want to get the kill with the unit? For promotion? That didn't happen. We'll step up against this ranged unit because uh, it will it will really perish. Um, and if I'd done those around the other way, we would have got it, but that's fine. In the capital, I don't know if we want another settler. Uh, though we could have a fifth city, it might not be the time to make it. So instead, shall I get a lodge or a military unit or a worker actually for somewhere else? Could just buy it outright could adopt trade in another city or pump some money into its growth work boats i think we're full on oh there's a there's an opportunity though get that and then buy that work boat that's a great use of our money because these tiles are exceptional okay a great jump start for a city as well i think um, shall we get a boaty boy? Let's. We're boat people. Let's get a military boat. What natural wonder is that? Uh, I, if you're asking about this one, it's Uluru. Or Ears Rock. As you may also know it. <laughs> Wonderful to see so many people tuning in as well. Thanks so much for joining me. We crossed over 50,000 subscribers just a couple of days ago. Very fresh. Very grateful. This mod says Windows 7 to 10. I am playing it on Windows 11, and yes, it was compatible. Though I did have to enable, like, play around a little bit with Direct. You know, should I run it on DirectX uh, 9 or 11 uh, or 10? Should I um, have this mod on or off? I had to turn off a small part of it that was to do with unit promotions. They would have promotion trees, and it would be displayed a bit different. I had to turn off a couple of those, but the core Vox Populi patch and the user interface mod. Uh, are working for me at the moment on Windows 11. Oh, look at that. It's a it's a wild success. And now we just need the scout to survive a turn. Every time I say it's a success, there's another step. <laughs> and now we just need, and now we just need, oh, just a little bit more. That's all you're going to hear from me. Chase down this guy, please. Fire at that. This place needs a worker. Kind of everywhere needs a worker. Alright. Um, let's get a worker. And you can have a flanking bonus. Congratulations. Stab. What a fight. What an animation. Next turn. Civilization 5, everybody. <laughs> oh hold on phew just as we advance to the classical era we build our first naval unit sail out that bad boy Let's see what we can find maybe some more islands or something um it's not trapped if we have Vilnius we may capture Vilnius by force at some point. <laughs> okay, uh, in here, ooh, great lighthouse. Hello. Probably a pretty good one for me. Uh, the Dromon as well. Just as I built a crappy naval unit. Here it goes. Ranged combat of 16, combat of seven, shallow draft, oceanic perils, may, may not melee attack. Naval accuracy, can move after attacking, and can pillage improved tiles. That is awesome. Let's get one of those. Uh, now, over here, our settler survived the greediest settle of all time. Uh, yeah, I had great success with the Civ Fanatics auto-installer for um, the Vox Populi mod. Worked really well for me worked really well i can't believe we pulled that off it was really stacked against us at every corner <laughs> the barbarians 
Uh, um, we've got a lot of gold. Maybe we can get uh, an, a boat online or something here at some point. For now, just heal and hold. When attacking fully healed units. That's kind of cool. Uh, unfortunately, it's out of range and we're just going to stay nice and healthy. We've unlocked sailing, which of course has given us the ability to build the Great Lighthouse. Um, writing reveals paper on the map, a new resource. Also gets the library, though we don't have the first science building yet. Uh, plantation would be useful for a whole load of yields. Quarries, yeah. Defense, okay. Bronze working. Hmm. Anything up ahead in particular that I'm working toward? We don't really yet even know our victory condition. Let's get calendar for the archers, because archers are fantastic units all around. Uh, at least normally. <laughs> I want to get one of these Dramon here as well, but I think uh, maybe the smarter thing to do might be to get, say, the base production building. Um, potentially a worker. What's our worker situation like? Uh, the land is still kind of difficult to defend. Let's get another slinger and then go for an upgrade into an archer in future. Workboat. Give me the best tile of all time. Thank you very much. And we might not go out and fight that just yet because we do share a front line with Rio. So, or we will probably share a border with them anyway. Three nice settles along the capital and then a fourth incredibly greedy. Oh my god, don't look too closely. It'll hurt your eyes. <laughs> Settle up here. Goodness gracious. Yeah, it was great. Chris, would recommend. Um, Alright, fire at that. See ya. Looks like we're clearing out the barbarians enough. Let's go and have a look this way. I see fish, which maybe suggests there's an island down here. I wouldn't be mad at a fifth city if it's down here. At least connect it out to this way. Fire Achoo. Achoo. We need to clear this out so that we can get workers in. So let's make that a priority. Stomp down here. I think there's a barb camp there might be. I don't know. If I buy the barb camp tile, it should get deleted. You are a super guy. That is a great suggestion. Uh, we have a worker over here now, so we don't even need to pillage this one. Let's build a pasture. Let's explore... No. It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, I think the next place I want to know is what's down here. Just to confirm that it is blocked off. And not actually a peninsula. Peninsula. Loads of crap to build here. We could get Petra. Gold on buildings invests in them, reducing their production cost by 50% or 25% for wanders. Um, it's new commune, plus one trade route, plus two culture, plus one gold on desert, and a free caravan. A caravan is two turns, and Petra is six. If I spend that money, Petra is five. Caravan is two. We get a free caravan? Let's do it. It's going to be a Petra city. It does mean that I may not be able to afford to buy that tile this turn. Yep, okay. Hooey! Uh, we'll just fight that one. With the scout. Get him, boy! Good move. Alright, so we took down one of their units. Next turn, we'll destroy the camp. It should be okay. It may look a little touch and go, but... <laughs> I'd urge you to, to have confidence. I think we need food here, maybe. Oh, Petra City as well. This is such a juicy setup.
Let's explore with boats and land units. We're really going all out to figure out that there's just one snowy tile down here, aren't we? Whoa. They're now besieging the city. Blocking my Uluru. Dromon is out. Let's set sail towards the new land with our ranged ship. That is a fantastic looking ship. Love it. Uh, we probably don't need the boat that way, so let's send a melee ship with it as well. We've got a little bit of a navy going already. I like to see it. Uh, should we get a lodge for extra border growth? The Great Lighthouse. What's stopping me from building this? Additional policies needed to unlock one. Culture. Huh. Let's get the lodge. Um, not really any great way. Mercantilism plus 3% culture. I'm going to get a shrine there. Now I need to save my money because I'm remembering whoop, to buy that tile. Actually, almost paying for itself back because clearing it got us the gold. Social policies. Okay. We're going to need another social policy. That's awesome. Um, I wonder if our scout could take out that unit. No, just heal. City's heavily bombarded, but it will be okay. Send those guys down that way. You can hold there. We need more culture. We're not a very cultured people. I worry we're also not a very scientific people. But man, we're growing. To stop beelining to wonder. That's cool. That's cool. A good touch. Makes sense that they should be linked in culture to some way as well. Uh, that'll be a good food tile for us on the land anyway, at plus four. Though it doesn't compare to the sea, does it? Oh yeah, we are in desperate need to get some luxuries hooked up. We're clearing out this place, so we'll have silk to get online. Um, let's advance a worker here though, if we don't have one already. No, we don't. Okay. Let's just buy one. Now that we know it's safe, we can get out and improve uh, at least the silk. That maze could be next. Looking for something a little more luxurious. Make an event choice. Gain 75 golden age points. With a 25% chance to lose 150, there's an eclipse. Or we could make a sacrifice to gain 37 faith at the cost of 18 food. Uh, so that's three turns worth. At the cost of one turns worth of food. Quick! Sacrifice them! <laughs> that's a good deal. A guaranteed good deal. 37 faith. Empire-wide happiness. We have a total of 17. But my approval rating... Well, this... this Why is this other one at 50%? Hmm. Either way, we do only have two luxuries connected at the moment. We can get that up to four, I think. Oh, you want to go. Oh, you're lucky I can't move in far. <laughs> Alright, uh, looks like we're seeing thick snow. Ah, oh, they stole that. I mean, I guess they didn't steal it because they kind of did work the entire time to do it uh clearing that barb camp could be a mission for them and my navy is already sailing by so it might as well uh the city takes fairly heavy bombardment the people of uluru are not happy let's have a look Oh, it's a flamethrower. 
Bet you didn't see that coming, buddy. Uh, and unfortunately, the ship can't do anything, but it will stand here and look kind of scary. Uh, and we'll just flamethrower them. Yep. Cool. That's really fun. Okay. Um, maybe another one of those. Another trader. Cargo ship. Let's get a cargo ship, actually. A barbarian camp. Great. And a city style? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, we need to clear this out. Uh, we're getting minus 25%. My approval rating. Terrible. The people, they do not approve. Oh, we need to clear this out, really, don't we? No gold. But don't worry, you're getting a monument. Hello? Oh, you just alert, I guess. Um, Alright, quickly, get a worker out there. <gasps> a floor in our perfect plan. We're one turn away from calendar. Okay, that's fine. Um, do nothing. You know what? Just do nothing. Uh, a message from AI. This is clearly, clearly a bit broken. That is acceptable. I'm glad. I agree to your terms. I'm glad. Goodbye, Ottomans. Okay, so we know everybody who's in the game now. We can see scoreboard over on the right-hand side. <sighs> I can't recall it from the original Civ 5 either, Pete. I couldn't say for sure that it's been added because the list of changes are just overwhelming. <laughs> Upgrading units. That'll be our ranged units, I'd say. At least I would guess. Let's fire up the flamethrower again. That is brilliant. Thanks, Richard. Thanks for tuning in. That's right, Luke. We're back at it with the game that started it all. In a slightly different way. In fact, a very different way. Let's have a look uh, what's down here in the south. It's seen as this melee unit can't really do much else. <laughs> um... This city desperately needs some military to defend it. Let's get a warrior. Maybe purchased, actually. Clearing out the ranged units will be helpful. We can clear that one out this turn. Go get him, scout. The scout that lived. Ah, uh, yeah, we need to obliterate that camp, too. Maybe we get one of those. I think we probably do. Uh, we'll sail away from the archer so that it can't shoot us each turn because we're a scumbag. Let's get writing because we're going to need to focus on science at some point. It's just not right now. Um, and a worker. What to do with you? All the good tiles are already done. So we could do some farms or something over by the coast. Plantation ready to come online. Jerusalem! The frozen wasteland! What is this place? Oh my god. I mean, they've got fish. We could live there happily. That's the thing. It's the Carthaginians. We could live there happily, particularly with our religion. We're going to be okay. There's Petra. Who drinks the water, I shall kill him, says the Lord. Neat. Barb camp just outside the capital. That is a bit of a problem. Let's walk that warrior over there. Um... Oh boy, we've got a lot of gold. We just have so much gold all the time, it's great. Let's get this 
ranged unit back over here. Dial up the flamethrower again. Good, good. <laughs> we need a melee unit to properly clear it out though, don't we? Annoying. Combat strength, boarded, 10% combat strength. We'll just go for the 10%. Um, second city, I think you can get a council for us, please. Time to adopt a policy. Plus three food in every city, plus three science from city connections. Plus one happiness? We are struggling a bit. Let's do that. That'll give us an immediate boost. Stop wasting turns on an unhappy city. Uh, we'll use the Slinger who hasn't yet been upgraded. And this guy's only going to get a minor victory, so we'll fortify until healed. Looks like we can clear that out for Jerusalem. You can demand tribute from Jerusalem, the orange thing. Oh, you're right. I can take 13 gold and lose... 30 influence. That is not a good deal. I'm making 50 gold a turn. It's gonna take... It's gonna take 20 turns. That's 20 turns worth of influence, did you, Decay. Yeah, no. And I don't want the worker either. I'm gonna ignore that. But thank you for pointing that out. Good to know. Because I, I wondered what that was. I thought it might have just been because they were f religious. And they're like, hey, we're in orange. Because we're religious. Let's get a minor victory on that guy. Soften him up for next turn. That's a bit mean, but it's only 80 BC. You're right. You're right. It's the, it's the dumb thing. It'd be weird if we didn't. Uh, we could get roads. But we're going to have harbours. So who needs roads? Not me. Yeah, let's ignore that. a couple of farms online. Um, maybe automate? He's probably just going to go down here and improve those. Yeah. Nice. Okay, you can just do that. Oh. Sail away. Ooh. <laughs> Not really a lot of trade partners. Let's... Uh <laughs> we could send it to this city and probably trade with Thebes. Let's send it to the capital. Just trade out of the capital. Everything out of the capital. Yeah, you can see the cities and the units on the left. That is the enhanced user interface mod. It's the second mod linked uh, in the description. The first is a link to a sort of a auto installer for a, a bulk mod pack as well in the community mod. Uh, the wealthiest people in the world, we are incredibly wealthy somehow. Burn, baby, burn. So it's cleared, but it's not empty. Uh, there's some incentive to get a unit over there. Let's go. Ooh, uh, do we want the Great Lighthouse, Navigator, Production, Merchant Points, a free lighthouse which we already have, plus one movement in sight. It feels on point. Let's do it. Four turns. We'll get the Great Lighthouse of Carthage. And... Well, <laughs> I would like a well. Granary's decent for future growth, though. We'll get the granary. This is proving a little dicey. Um, can't really get the extra slinger in unless they can upgrade. You lack the necessary funds to upgrade. <laughs> we will be able to, though. 
So let's sort of eye that. There are no trade routes here either. Max distance, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You're going to Gades. Now we have a cargo ship. Please. Yes! 16 food. Sure. Uh, fire at that unit because our legendary scout is going to take out the kill on this ranged unit. What a legend. Uh, well, well, spending money in this mod reduces the cost by 25%. I guess you could reduce the cost and then Great Engineer. Maybe. I'm not sure the impact of the Great Engineer, though. That I haven't had a chance to play with. Kia ora, white and nerdy. Civ 5 at 50. Civ 6 at 60. <laughs> yes, you're right. You're right. Hmm. Good news is, this place is starting to look a lot healthier. Heal up our scout, we'll have a warrior in a turn. Everything's going to be looking slightly happy. Let's get the shrine online. It's taking a long time to get a faith. Whoa, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> a foolish archer sails into Vilnius's waters, so I sink it. Let's get the extra snipe advantage against land units. Could be useful if the camp respawns something. And we'll keep trading with that city-state because they're making us a bit of cash money. It might even be safe to send this trade route out. Let's go. What do we get? Uh, three, one science, two science, one culture. Okay. We're trading with the Egyptians. A nice, friendly trading game. Gives a set amount of hammers based on when it's spawned. X amount on your total production at the time. Saving great engineers is less useful than in the base game. Very clever. Great way to disincentivize saving them. Okay, we get a major victory if we stomp down here from this. What looks like high ground. Just wail on those archers. Yeah, they didn't like that very much. Um, it's going to be close, though. It's going to be close. Upgrade that into one of our own archers. Fantastic. We don't have much of a military. <laughs> and we're working towards... Okay, cool. We're like a hundred faith away from being able to turn our god of the sea into all hail the sea. Love retreated back to base. Great news. Archer's running for the hills. Let's try and stomp this camp out once and for all. Combat strength. Flanking. Combat strength in rough terrain. Sure. It's a decisive victory. And Jeru the people of Jerusalem are just going to be so stoked. This camp's been slaughtering us for thousands of years. <laughs> The archer up that way, just in case. I'm watching you. Isn't just the first one they played. Mood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong, Luke. Um. Yeah, we can get a little bit of navy up there. Wah! Should we settle on that island? <laughs> Juicy. Um. Mm -mm -mm. New city, who dis? Do we have... What What do we have in the way of tiles? I guess we want to jump out and grab those fish. Because fish are the best. Yeah, we'll work toward that. So we'll get this place building a workboat. We've got Uluru. We're going to have horses eventually. And we've forward settled the Egyptians and taken a coastal city. Great result. Really happy with that. The island settle would be pock. <laughs> oh, look at those tiles. 
Oh, now the barbarians are like, oh, he's celebrating? Let's let's jump back in and absolutely teach him who's boss. Um, okay. Just gonna step back this way a little bit. Yike. No one's gonna ever work that farm. You might as well auto because I don't have the patience. Uh, yeah, it is literally just <laughs> one tile. We get two oases and a fish. And one, two, three, and a coral. One, two, three, and, and those two tiles. <laughs> if there's oil near it, though, it could be good. Secretly really good. Um, I think we need to catch up on some basic buildings. But also, our science game is weak. What is this? I'm confused. Ah, library or granary? Let's get granary for future growth. Although, actually, growth is kind of choking me a bit here. We're growing too much. We need more happiness, dang it. Herbalist looks kind of useless. Let's get science so we can get to better technologies to build better things. Um, this is a whole lot of great people and culture stuff. Get construction. Been waiting for that one for a little while. Get medic on this guy so that he can heal this warrior and this warrior can move in and help defend the people of Jerusalem. <laughs> Put you alerted there. Nice, nice, nice. Deveremos prosperar através do comércio. An acceptable deal was reached with the Brazilians. Tavshanarixamanim, Garim. And also, uh, <laughs> Babylon. <laughs> Paper resource allows you to build diplomatic units who you send to city-states to improve relations. Get out of town. That's so cool. Just like the Great Lighthouse is so cool. Provides a free lighthouse in the city that is built. All military units receive plus one movement and plus one side. Okay. Do we take this? We are their friend. Let's get over there and reap the rewards of that island first and foremost. Um, also sail over here. Okay, there's another encampment. This is... This is ugly. Uh, we can't really get the kill there, but I'm kind of incentivized to try and save the warrior. Step to the high ground. Hope you don't get surrounded. Cut that naval passage off. Improved the silk. It's a good start, though there's more work to do. Let's get some more where that came from. And... Paper? Library. Flamethrower boat. These are all reasonable options. I'm gonna get a library. And a council. I'm gonna tick up a little bit. Hey Jerusalem, I saved you. Love me. What have you got? Oh. We laughed at them, but... They're juicy. They're juicy. Look at their coast. Barbarian ships from the coastal camp. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep an eye. We'll keep an eye. 
Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. What have you been sleeping on? Huh? Okay, these guys are just chucking axes at me. It was to be expected. Uh, that's a lot of axes. Man, they're really going at it. <laughs> guys. Okay. Oh man, we're still trading through here. You are brave. Alright, let's bombard the crap out of this thing. How do you like my scout? The scout of the ages. We must take Jerusalem. Maybe we should make that our goal. <laughs> it looks so juicy. <laughs> we'll defend against that unit. We'll sail right up against this camp. Just as a show of force. Uh, and let's have a look and see what is down here. It looks like it's going to be a complete dead end. Military strategy. Hanging gardens. Skirmishes. Or do we want drama and poetry? Beeline toward the arts. And then edumacation. Uh, let's see where iron is. Because if there's like iron or something down here, that would also make a difference. Another one of those. Our apologies for settling near you, Brazil. We really didn't mean to. Wink, wink. Uh, they've at least got a la- What is going on? Nice work. <laughs> they've at least got a land unit uh spot for a land unit i mean to say okay sailing right up against them was a mistake although maybe we distracted the archer for a little bit there goes the traitor maybe <laughs> let's clear this guy out can the scout do it again oh my god it can this guy's the mvp go for circuses oh yeah we need our first happiness building. Where Excuse is our first me. happiness building? Uh, also not mad at the school of philosophy. A reasonable pick. The tech tree provides... Let me go... Uh, yes. Let us work together. I demand... A research agreement. <laughs> A great prophet has been born in the city of Carthage. Fantastic. 
obviously we want to use found religion and I think we just want to use it wham bam thank you ma'am right now the warrior has arrived disbanded that barbarian camp good 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 let's get them back to the capital and let's get our ship over that way a well are you sure you want to sell this building no that was a misclick uh what do we want to build in the capital though could get another mausoleum of helicarnassus the great library usually very good we might think about that for a little bit get another ranged ship I think go for a science building over here <laughs> this place still struggling a little bit we might be able to get a kill with the warrior Sail our boat over just to look fierce. Uh, we're still we're gonna keep upgrading this place. That tile there, really great tile. We'll sail over and protect our working, our working fleet. You need to heal for a turn, and you, I think, have probably scouted out everything that Jerusalem has to offer. We found a shooting star last night. A series of bright flashes of light filled the sky. As a meteor shower visited our planet, large meteorites have landed across the world, and your officials have collected one such specimen and brought it to the capital for study. What should we do with it? Plus one faith in all shrines. Plus two culture on the palace. Hmm. Kia ora, Frankie. Good to see you. So far, really enjoying all of these mods. And can only but recommend them. Um, here, actually, is a great example got some extra events in civilization 5 super cool i think the plus one faith on all shrines is decent because i built a lot of shrines because we're trying to be god of the sea um rather than just plus two culture let's get the faith we don't have a university in any city or a museum so some of those options are locked sadly but we'll take the faith oh boy it's time to found a religion um, Devilish isn't here, however, did donate a $10 super chat on the last Humankind stream. So Devilish, this one's for you. Uh, so we already have God of the Sea, plus one faith and production from fishing boats and atolls, and a little bit of extra food. Let's see if we can lean into this a bit, holy moly, a bit more. Plus 20 food in the holy city when you spread the religion. When you unlock a new technology, you receive two faith for every follower. When a great person is expended, gain 10 faith and culture for every city following your religion. When a city adopts your religion for the first time, gain 20 science and production in your holy city, scaling up. Holy city produces plus 20% of its yields when your empire is in a golden age. And it unlocks a wonder. Huh. Hero worship. Conquering a city. These are amazing. When you unlock a policy, five faith, science, and gold for every follower. That's kind of fun. We Love the King Day boosts faith and culture. When you enter a new era, the holy city gains 12 of every yield for each city. Receive 30 tourism when you speed religion to foreign cities. Wow. Taoism? <laughs> I didn't think... <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> your wish is my command Whew, okay um i feel like the reasonable ones were at the top we could get a whole load of food when you unlock a new technology receive two faith for every follower and we get a whole load of food food that's pretty decent. I kind of wanted one with a bit of culture as well, but the expending great person, nah. Let's do... Let's let's take this tradition. The apostolic... Ap apost apostolic? All great works generate extra faith. Boosts pressure of religious majority. 
plus four faith, and we get a bonus culture, which is great because we're really low on it. We're getting churches. Okay, so we're getting churches, we get food when we spread our religion, and something to do with technology, and we love the sea. Devilishism, Taoism, it's done. Fantastic. A religion has been founded, and it's really good. <laughs> We'd like to get some extra reliefs, maybe around boats or production, but uh, but that's really good. And we have something to spend our faith on as well. Churches. We're getting churches, Val. All the churches. <laughs> it's too good. Okay. Um, speaking of too good. Bam. Five food, two production, two gold, one faith. I'll allow it. Let's get the warrior scout to finish the job they started last turn. Neat. Uh, do we have our ranged? Yeah. We have a little bit of a military arriving. We'll sail past this maybe settle me island. And... What are you doing out to sea? I will punish you. Upgrade that unit into an archer as well. So we've got a couple of archers on the main land border. Probably our weakest slot. Um, yeah, Jerusalem is just the Ice Kingdom. I love it. I kind of want to take it because it has three coastal yields. But the, but the rest of its tiles are so garbage. So garbage. Although... No, it is garbage. If we could get a canal there, it would be reasonable as a as a throughway. Yeah, there's potential. Um, what would a city like you need? A herbalist just for the extra food. Maybe the granary because growth is going to be really slow. Yeah, go on. Vilnius has got all sorts of stuff. Thinking about the faith purchasing too. So a church is 97. I wonder if we want to increase our faith generation somehow here though. This isn't really a way. Great library's not bad. We'll get another one of those. We'll keep building up our navy. Get a library over there. We could have speed the construction along there let's do it or maybe we get the great library here because we don't already have a library so it kind of makes sense let's do it 11 turns for the great library 8 turns for a normal one I know a good deal when I see one that's a good deal if I want my faith to auto purchase churches I have some information that may be of use I guess I do before upgrading it again actually Audit, yeah let's do that good call let's automatically purchase churches nice that is a great little thing Jerusalem one two three looks like it's just out of range of that iron unfortunate uh and our ranged capacity navy has arrived let's clear out this barb camp oh what's that i see there hello destroy <laughs> these are my seas now you barb scum see you later block that off the legendary scout's going to heal in the city of Gades. Yep. It's what, <laughs> yeah, you've been a wonderful advisor, Alexia. <laughs> you've been fantastic. <laughs> so good. We're coming up. Okay, we're in between hours two and three. All right. Still a, a reasonable number of people watching live. It's great to see. Uh, my Streamlabs thing says there's 80 people. So nobody else takes the policy? Yeah, I like the secondary profit as fast as possible too. I do. I do. Uh, my happiness is suffering a bit as well. 
don't know how we're going to fix that. I really don't. I guess at this point, it's kind of technology is going to be my saviour. <laughs> Tech will save me! <sighs> Let's set the flamethrower on this barb camp again. Hovering over Carthage. do get a variety of different uh, overlays, don't I? Look at that. Three different ones. We don't even have any manual specialists on. Yiker. <laughs> Should we get the mausoleum of Helicarnassus just for fun? Perhaps some walls might be a good idea first. Let's get some walls. You never know what might go wrong. Uh, and then over here, I guess we're kind of needing a library fairly soon. Let's get a quick well. A little bit of extra industry. Uh, improving those dyes is going to be quite important as well, actually, now that I look at it. We'll queue up a worker. Have a look and see what these hopeless lost souls are doing over here. Ooh. <laughs> Islands. A warrior can be upgraded into a spearman. Now vastly superior. Quadream doubles down on its um, superpower. And this unit's going to run away from that archer. Very good. Another Bodie boy ready to go. Uh, that barb camp's spitting out stuff. Hmm. With my single range, it's going to be hard to defend with a boat here. So, send the boat to where it's useful. And now, uh, let's just expedite the production of two spearmen, I think. I think we're going to need that. Yep. Two spearmen, then the walls. Just so that we have a little bit of defense. I'm also going to bring that archer over there. So we have an archer there. This worker is looking a little vulnerable. We'll wait and see what happens. Oh, warrior arrived just in the nick of time. Go you. Still suffering. But defending well enough. The Spearman upgrade looks like it was worth its weight in gold. After the arrow. Military strategy online too. Upgrade that guy into a Spearman. And we'll march out onto this barb camp a little bit. They've got nothing. Put that worker on auto. He'll start improving the iron hopefully for us. Oh. Happiness modifier minus 15% by our food. Yikers. They demand coral. Minus 44. Eek. But that's of course a percentage, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, combat strength versus mounted units, defense against ranged attacks, cities, and a general shock promotion. Let's get the defense against range. And fortify, because they'll never get me there. <laughs> I 
Alrighty, I'm going to take a really quick break and stock take. Uh, grab a quick drink. I will be right back. Back? See you shortly. Thank you for bearing with me, although I see we lost a few people. Enjoy the rest of your days. <laughs> Welcome back to Civilization V. Um, production, defense, boost the city's 
defense and increases hit point recovery by 10% of the city's production. Very cool. That's a that's a great touch. Um, do we have more coastal resources to grab a hold of? No. Sadly not. And it doesn't really look like a lot of key land ones either. Uh, though there is a bit of maze there, I guess. I think we'll go for buildings instead. Let's get a library online because we're going for a big science push. And I'm almost tempted to put this guy on auto explore, but we might still need it. We'll taunt these barbarians a little bit. <laughs> That'll teach him. Kia ora, John. Nice to see you. I'm off to bed. Look forward to catching it later. Good luck. Oh, Alexia, sorry I missed you. Good night, and thanks so much for your input. Hugely appreciated. Oh. Oh, bad things are happening to our spearmen. Lucky they have that range defense. As <laughs> we still fight to defend Uluru. However, this time, I think we're going to be successful. I wonder if we can take that out in one. Not quite. Um, but it's a really good strike, so I'm going to take it. And then hopefully we'll be able to distract this range unit by lighting them on fire. That ought to do it, right? I, <laughs> it would get me out of bed. Okay, they've got a spearman too, so we'll just hold our horses. We'll stay there to try and bait and tack. And hoon down this way. Buenos Aires looking nice. Not ludicrously good. It would be very easy for us to take though, and we'd get some crown jewels out of it. One sea resource. One, two, three. Just out of range of that one, but we've already got that under control. Speaking of which... We should get that under control. Uh, I guess I'll prioritize getting the dies first. The good dies. What is that scout doing? Goodbye, Ramses. Thank you for the deal. We're just floating along at 50% approval. Uh, the camp pumped out another archer, which is terrible news for that guy. <laughs> Yike. Uh, okay, we should be able to zero in. In fact, I think we can do it with the scout. Oof, they shot back. But our legendary scouts aren't afraid. Good take. Step into the open. That's it. Almost a decisive victory. Uh, we're pushing it a little bit, but we've still got 45 hit points, so we'll just keep going. This guy's so good. And that range defense as well. We've got nothing. Uh, after the worker, I think we'll queue up a discounted library. After the worker. Thank you. This city's already got its library. It's probably looking for... Eh. Walls. Why not? Just... In the just-in-case department, we'll get some more freaking walls. And you, my friend, can be upgraded into a spearman like no other. Um, boat. Oh, we'd love to get out and take a look, but we'll sail back. We'll sail back. Look, there's actually a target in the ocean. Um, we don't want to clear the camp for them, so we're actually just going to sail away from that. Um, and block this guy. Great. And we'll forward march. Three spearmen. Am I even a boat, people? <laughs> oh, good that we have some units on the ground, though. I have a bad habit of playing these games and running a little light on units. Sail up next to the coral reefs and kabam kabow. Only 36. Disappointing. We have it surrounded, though. And now that we have two ships over here, we'll be able to... No, they took it. Those cheeky sons of... Yes. 
We are friends. Well, this work is going to be put straight to work as soon as they fire off the production line. <laughs> Boy, do I have a job for you! And this, and that, and this, and that, and this, and that. Good stuff. Hmm... We'll advance up to the river. I'd love to be able to just buy a whole load of tiles over this way so they can't get them. I can't really afford to though. And I should get those fish. Let's get those fish. A little bit more map to discover over this way. I'll take a cheeky peek. It's nothing. Get you back to base for a quick heal. And... For now, we might just go and have a look at Thebes. See what it's got to offer. We have quite a ground force nearby it now, too. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Still play it regularly and watch all your videos to get better. Play it with my dad when I was like six or something, 12 years later. Oh, that's so cool, Dot. That's awesome. A caravan. Back to the city-state it goes, sending our religious ways with it. Uh, is our religion spreading? Slowly. Slowly. We might work on that. Tech gain is also pretty slow. Uh, we're not going to war with Egypt. Though it is tempting. You're not. <laughs> it is tempting. We have a bit of an army sort of accidentally around here. A little bit of a navy. What have you got, huh? Yeah. Citrus. Salt. Coastal city. Capital city. Hmm... I could be tempted. I could be tempted. One more iron needed to build that. Are you kidding me? Let's get a cargo ship. Range combat strength when attacking cities, just in case. And you, my friend, are going to get out start improving these resources stab stab choose research quite an important decision for us actually because we have quite a bit we have quite a few different ways that we could take it it's an even battle thanks for letting me know that's why i'm doing it twice um we do still want to work toward circuses physics so masonry is probably always a good shout mathematics though we'll grab masonry Ooh. plus three food plus three science see you frankie uh, authority, yeah, plus two food, population, and happiness in the capital. A little bit of extra happiness we can eat out of that. Uh, gain additional 15 culture when the technology is researched. We could let that one slide. We don't necessarily need 15% towards production. Oh, 10 culture though. Yeah, let's get that. That's gonna... That's great. Now our cities will build buildings faster, and when they build them, we'll get a little culture boost. Um, because we are a fan of libraries and stuff. Generally. Let's keep that in mind. Using our money to leverage it as well, always a good move. Let me get up there and heal. You can heal there. You've got excellent visibility. Let's get you right up next to the city, actually. Just in case. 
We'll pop in down here and hold. Holding even more visibility for ourselves. Try and overwhelm this camp with numbers. Not our finest yeah, hour. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you lecture me! We took the camp, that's all that matters. Step up around that guy. Nice. More buildings. Yep. A couple of production buildings will never, I figure, serve us wrong. And our cities are already quite large. So uh, they should be alright. We should be alright to maintain them. You might worry it's time to declare war. We mean no harm. We're just passing by. Relax, jeez. So paranoid. So paranoid. An event choice. A sudden drop in average temperatures can only mean one thing. A small ice age. Minus two gold. Minus two production. Um, we'll take the money hit. That's a that's a bad one. Forge for a bit of extra science. Okay. Shrine for the faith. We should be building out churches. <laughs> Am I marching on thieves? I didn't really mean to. Though it could be a good way to uh, potentially end the stream if it's about that time, which it could be. Uh, establish a trade route. Change from city. Yeah, there's there's not a lot to do in this city. Uh, let's head to Hippo. Maybe try and trade with the Brazilians. A spearman. Fortify. Hmm. Doesn't really look like they have a lot. However, I'm told the AI is much better in this version. So they might be detecting my that I'm nearby, stocking up. I, I don't know. Oof. I do know that that's bad. <laughs> Run back that way. sail around I don't expect any trouble and of course there's actually only one slot that we can attack the city from so it's a little bit of a tricky one or oh, we can get missionaries we should should we well it would be nice let's do it we're gonna spread the good word didn't you hear the sea's the place to be. Get a quick mausoleum of Helicarnassus. Why not? Defend with the scout. Cargo ship ready to establish a trade route to Rio. That's good. If we can get our religion here, we can pump our religion over to them before they even know what a religion is. It'll be great. Four turns. Okay. That's doable. Um, get the lodge. Just pick up all these basic buildings. We get ten culture every time, so we may as well churn through them. We're not going to deal with the Egyptians, because we're a little bit worried that they're, that they're not going to treat us kindly, or that we're going to need to fight them. Um, what is this? Are you kidding me? change of plan as we're being forced to reroute uh spearman gonna need to come back that way might also need to buy a uh, the only thing we can buy is a workbook okay we'll ignore that go for the markets I don't think the arenas are quite as good as I thought and maybe building them is a mistake I 
Do we want to keep growing the city at the cost of the capital? Yes, because it's spreading the faith. It's spreading the good word. And that's all that matters to me. Next to technology. Edumacation could be very powerful. We could move into that quite fast. Um, let's get mathematics. It's cheap. It's easy. We need it. Let's talk. Stab. You need to limp back to base. You are weak F. Look at that little missionary run. He's so excited to spread the good word. <laughs> guys, guys, I figured it out. This is a little risky, but keeping them in the zone of control should deter them from taking that worker. <laughs> I hope. Whoa, Buenos Aires taking shots across the sea at their island. And looks like there's a little bit of trouble there that I can go and deal with as well, get on their good side. Uh, barbarians fighting back in the Midlands. There's nothing to see there. And this spearman is successfully baiting probably two attacks though. It's going to need to get out of there. Crap. Provides a free stoneworks in the city in which it's built. The mausoleum of Halicarnassus for no reason. <laughs> okay, you need to run. What are you doing? Um, you can probably work on those deer while we wait. Deer, deer. We're going to need another spearman, I think. And uh, in terms of the buildings, I mean, there's lots to do. Arena increases our tourism and culture. Olives and perfume. So it's it's really not altogether very useful. Um, maybe the market for the trade. Or the walls, alternatively. Adding to our military industrial complex. <laughs> Plus three science. <laughs> yeah. Constantly defending this place. Why not? Uh, now, School of Philosophy, National College. Plus 20% science and golden ages. One special in the city no longer produces unhappiness from urbanization. That could potentially be useful as well, and I don't quite realize it. Um, the courthouse is useful if we want to take over something. Otherwise, we're moving to physics. Which would allow me to build forts, which we did want to do a little test with. Okay, let's get engineering. cleared out that incursion i think i'm running back to base you're just going to keep being a little thing there the barbarians now have the same ships lucky we have this coastal raider let's uh weaken it first with some fire nice and then go in for the raid oh it's so good it's got nothing we're a tank at sea <laughs> <laughs> We're a tank. This worker, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, that spearman. For the good of the people. Oh, and they sabotage that. We will get them. Okay, first step. Uh, we need to swap this unit out. Oh, yeah, we can. I forget that we can stand on Uluru. It's quite strange. I hope that's enough. I'm not sure that it will be. Um. And then we'll just slam that. There's no real need to fight that. But I guess if we kill this one, then we can kill this one. So let's start weakening that unit. <laughs> With flames! You can stay alert. Or fortified, even. Because, because the alert is going to constantly go off. 
Fortify until healed. Fortify. Fortify. Great. This is looking really good. 10 pop, 10 pop, 7 and 7. We're larger than the rest. Could potentially do with a fifth city. And I'm wondering if we take it by force. Jerusalem. Uh, or Rio. Or Thebes. We have many a hand, many options. Hmm. You're generating tourism. That's very early on. 200. Sheesh. Obviously works a bit differently in this pack. Um, we do have a lot of wonders. Hanging gardens. Roman forum. I think we should get some basic buildings though. Like a market? Seems like a good idea. Herbalist. Uh, barracks. Walls. All good things. This guy looks to have just escaped with his life. And then this unit is going to go out here and teach this guy a lesson. <laughs> We've got defense against ranged or something. We're going to be great. It was pretty good. Uh, Quadream, you can get back to base. You had a hard couple of missions. You can keep flaming this guy. Wonderful. <laughs> Very good. What is this? Ah, an emissary. Okay. Um, I suppose we send it to Vilnius. Let's do that. A test. Something I have never tried before, but a cool part of this mod that I'm intrigued to figure out a little more about. Oh, the city has such a crappy defense. <laughs> it's just got an archer. Ah, <laughs> oh, the missionary has arrived. Yes. Let's spread the good word of devilishism. Uh, important here because we're trading with the enemy. We could also potentially just swat out their holy city. This one should fall to pressure now from both sides as well as trade. One follower plus two pressure from two trade routes. Okay. Hopefully we get Vilnius with Carthage. And then if I send an aggressive missionary here, we might be able to stamp out their ancestor worship. Before it even begins. Let's try. <laughs> it's worth a go. The payoff could be huge. We could take over this whole southern continent with with the <laughs> worshipping the seas. Devilishism. I don't know about that. Science and culture coming out of all these cities as they build their buildings. Who wouldn't want to follow it? Alright, you little man. Go. Spread the word. And you can take down that camp once and for all, hopefully. Yes. Great success. Hmm. Walls. Good. <laughs> uh, plus 10 food and plus 1 culture. And the Hanging Gardens. Seems to be showing the Hanging Gardens for both of these. I'm going to get the Roman Forum then. Because they don't know what it is. Perhaps it's already unlocked, actually, around the world. I think it could have been that. Um, sail over here and flame this guy. You think that? I guess there's nothing they can do. Um, yeah, I guess not. Okay, event up. Old man in the sea. A band of local fishermen have appealed to the city for funding for a seasonal fishing expedition. Uh, 150 food, or I'm not interested. Yeah. Great. 
The city has grown. The people feast. I hope they weren't fishing from the same seas where these fights were going on, though. A little dubious. A little dubious. Thebes now has a boat of its own. An Egyptian trireme. Our emissary has arrived and can conduct a diplomatic mission. Diplomatic units receive influence with the city-state based on the unit's promotions. Then we have great diplomats, receive a large amount of influence. Gain one paper. And then the great merchant, which receives a large amount of money. We love the king day. Cool. So they're like a, a great... Like a the old great merchant. Light. And this time, purely as a diplomat. And then there's kind of the great diplomat and great merchant arm, and they're two separate things. That's a great way to split that up. Let's conduct a mission, though. You can fire and then go on alert. The Egyptians sailing around now with their fireboats, too. My one, all of a sudden, not looking quite as scary. Um, we can get a church online, which will reduce unhappiness from boredom. Getting on top of our approval problems. Great to see. We could also pump out another missionary here, but I think we go with Covert Operation A. Sneak behind enemy lines, and then quickly whisper the good word of devilishism. Love to see it. You love to see it. Did it work? Okay, four followers with 13 pressure. We're going to overtake them. We're going to overtake them already. I love it. Maybe we can do it again. Let's grab another missionary. Ooh, a couple of Egyptian units moseying about. We'll jump into the forests and keep visibility of what's going on, I think. Um lodge for a bit of extra growth it might get some reasonable tiles it probably won't and then this city needs its granary because it is trying to grow so very slowly okay they're running away see you later <laughs> good riddance engineering gives us our fort which means that we can see here with a worker. Um, let me queue up a worker. There we go. We can see if we can move units through a fort. Through the Great Lighthouse, ideally. Let's sneak a missionary up. Oh, no. Oh, no. They have a home religion. It's going to be really hard now. Maybe impossible. But I'm committed to the meme. So, we'll send the missionary up that way and see what they can do. Without an Inquisitor, could be a little difficult. Forge, aqueducts, also pretty reasonable. Kind of the granary part two, if you will. Uh, we'll get market. Yeah. And then, we're already kind of on top of our happiness, but let's go to physics, just to really nail that down. Seems like a good move. Sail out and block this passage. <laughs> the gauge straight has been blocked off. We are a little bit exposed out here. That city really tempts me. Look at those tiles. You can go back to auto constructing and you can hide in a forest. So can you. So can you. <laughs> Aw. Nice overlay, though. Nice overlay. What? Uh, they've only gone and built the hanging gardens, which provided a free garden in the city that it was built as well. Where was it? Oh, of course it was Carthage because I had queued up a worker. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking around trying to find a place that didn't have anybody queued up, thinking that can't be right. 
It can't <laughs> had to be somewhere. I can't have had something, but I did. We had that worker ready to roll. Uh, I don't think I'll burn down the farm. I think instead we'll place the fort slightly nearby. News from Carthage. Farmers in the city report an excellent harvest, plus 37 food. Huh. Neat. I like those little bits of randomness. Civ could build on that, I think. Right. You get there and build me a fort. And then we're going to need a boat to try and drive through it. So let's get a test ship. Three turns. Sure. Defend. Defend. And... Defend Uluru. We've got a few improvements to do around there. Our secret missionary has arrived in Thebes. Quick! Spread the good word! No, it's not going to happen. There's, there's not going to be enough pressure. It's going to be a total waste. I think we run through, go to Gades, get the religion set up there, because otherwise Gades will fall to Thebes. That is potentially the real target here. We'll just stay alert around those barbs. Yeah, the random events would be cool, right? Um, send hammers that way. Start getting the faith spreading between these two. We need a strong hold down here. Still majority followers over there. I like to see. Uh, defend the missionary! <laughs> oh, and they've arrived on this border as well. Another barb camp probably down in the darkness. Oh, suffering a bit of attrition. Let's get out of there. Uh, we don't need to have our next science building. Minus one unhappiness from poverty. That I like to see. Let's grab that. Aqueducts all around. The production powerhouse that is this city is insane. We'll alert that for now while we finish the fort. And alert those guys too. Uh, we prefer to go it alone, actually. Not really your friend. And we won't deal with the Egyptians because... <laughs> Uh, they're potentially a war target. Ah, you. They love to build camps down there. Uh, this time we're a bit better prepared, though. Should be able to swamp that out. Uh, stomp that out, rather. Aqueduct, yes please. Forge? Lodge. Lodge, because we have bison, yeah. Time for another policy. We could complete the progress tree. Uh, yeah? Five culture, five percent growth. Let's do it. Let's do it. That seems reasonable. I mean, a little bit strange, but good enough. Missionary has arrived in the city. Not enough movement points to do anything when they get there, though. Uh, there's a free kill, so we'll take that. Hipparegis can fire upon the enemy. At least stab it. Oh, apparently only one range. Yike. Uh, we'll move in on this barb camp, seeing as we're out of the out of the woods now. <laughs> We've been exposed. There's the fort done. Let's see if it works. Hey, look. Ooh, great person points or, or poverty points or something. Uh, <laughs> auto improve. Boat. Yes! Oh, you absolute legend. Oh, that's so good. We can get boats out of Carthage up this way straight away by using forts, which act as canals. 
That is brilliant. Really frees up city planning. That's so good. And I see we've just ticked over the three hour mark, which signals to me probably a good time to wrap up the stream. Uh, thank you to, I believe we had a couple of member memberships tick over, Mortish, 10 months, Octopus, 19 months. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks to everybody who tuned in today. And of course, to all 50,000 of you for hitting that beautiful red button and subscribing. Uh, it's always wonderful to revisit Civ V, the game that started it all. Of course, there are other great games that we've picked up along the way as well um, that I've revisited recently too, uh, i.e. Humankind. Also incredibly fun. Uh, thanks for joining me in this live series. I'll reflect and review it a little bit, figure out if it's uh, the best use of my time, if it's the uh, best use for the channel. Moving forward, I'd like to pick up a couple of streams a week, but it will largely depend on what's going on in my life and blah, 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 the channel, blah, blah, blah. So I won't commit to them right now, but um, but very fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Civilization V continues to be the best. Uh, and if you're curious, in our poll that we had running for fun, that had around 350 votes, 59% uh, of people voted for Civilization V to be the best. On a Civ V stream, you could say maybe they're a little biased. <laughs> maybe. Just a tad. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I'll see you next time. Take care.